What's up, beautiful people? It is your girl, honey, Mama T, and I hope y'all are doing fabulous. So the intros, I keep forgetting the intros, and I'm just starting it. So if you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing absolutely amazing. It is Sunday, and we're going to come back to Sunday a little bit later. I was like, I have not posted a video in like four days. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out to y'all today, and I hope you guys enjoy. I also made a video for my family channel, which I thought would have already been out. But of course, Salam. Y'all know Salam? This girl right here. Her. Oh, y'all know her from that picture? Okay, what about this one? Her. Yeah, her. Yeah, that girl right there. She has not edited her portion of the... um vlog that we did for the family channel so i told you that it was going to be up but it's probably going to be up tomorrow so i think i'm gonna get my video out either tonight because i gotta go somewhere so if it's not out on sunday it'll definitely be out on monday along with the family channel video probably monday or tuesday i don't know but welcome to my channel make sure you leave a comment and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see y'all later i'm sorry it's kind of dark in here y'all y'all it's late it's it's not late, but like, it's early, but it's late in the morning. I have not worked out yet. I don't want to. I don't feel like it. I'm just feeling like, I know y'all probably like, this is like how it is though. I'm tired, so I just stay home. I'm doing all of this and sometimes I feel like, is it working? I know, y'all. I know I'm losing. <sighs> yeah, my stomach growling. <sighs> I hope I get to the gym, y'all. I hope I get there. I walk first. I have to go to the gym. I have to do all this work before I get to eat. It's just one of those days, y'all. It's Friday. It's just one of those. Fridays are normally happy days. But today... It's just really one of those days. But the good news is God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. And that's all I have to say about that. All right, guys, so I'm back. And let me tell you, I did not go to the gym. I know that um, I noticed that I showed you guys my planner the other day. And I actually already worked out six straight days um, this week and I'm really trying to cut some of these workouts to five a week instead of six or seven which is crazy and I need a rest day and I know that so I already worked out six straight days four of those days I lifted weights according to my planner so um, I'm gonna take a break today and probably like clean my bedroom cook dinner of course and um, go tomorrow God's willing and then have a break Sunday. So that is what I'm planning on doing. But I just made me some breakfast. Let me show you guys what I'm eating. So um, these are some scrambled eggs because I'm trying to get this protein from this. And this salmon is probably about four ounces. Did I weigh it? No, I didn't. I put a little bit of sriracha on it because that's what I've really been enjoying. Um, but I don't do it every time. And let me also show you what I'm drinking. And this is protein drink um, from Dr. Gundry. It is, I, I put spinach in it. Um, I put some spinach in it. I put the powder, the chocolate powder in it. And I put, I'm trying to think, I put a scoop of peanut butter in it. Regular peanut butter, Jiffy, just like not even a tablespoon. Yesterday I made it and I put um, frozen strawberries in it. I think I like it better with the frozen strawberries because it gave like a thicker, not too thick, but like a smoothie consistency. It just feels like water. Oh, I also put coconut milk and water in it. Maybe too much water since I didn't put the frozen fruit in it, but I'll get it. This is only my second time making it. But as you can see, I'm trying to up my protein. I'm trying to up my protein um, so I can continue to lose and gain in the right places. Because, like, y'all, I am so serious about just really changing my life around in every aspect. Starting with my um, body and just getting it at its healthiest state. That doesn't stress me out. That's why today when I didn't really feel like working out, I'm like, then I'm just not going to go. And that's not something like, like I know that they say like the days you don't feel like going, that's when you, you know, it pushes yourself. But there are those days when you don't feel like going, you just need to like take a moment. And that's because I've already done it six straight days. Six days of walking three miles between two and a half to three and a half miles 
in um, four days of lifting weights. So it's not like I don't feel like going and I haven't been going, but once or twice a week. No, I've been working out. So I've earned this Friday to chill. And I think I'm going to make Fridays and Sundays my off days from now on. Because I've always loved Fridays. And I'm always, you know, Sundays. So I think those two are going to be my break days. But that means I'm going to have to really go in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm about to eat. And I'm looking at this girl, her weight loss journey. And I'll get back with y'all later. So you guys, I am... Today is just that tired day. Guess what? Mother Nature. That's probably why I was feeling the way I was feeling today. Like, really, really low energy. But I straightened up a little bit. Now I'm about to wash the dishes that I made when I made my little breakfast. And I'm going to finish cleaning up my bedroom. Y'all don't want to see it. I promise you, you don't. And I just put one load of clothes in the dryer. And I left the other half in the washing machine. And there's my best friend right there. Isn't she gorgeous? That's my baby. Y'all, I love her. But anyways, what y'all doing today? It's Friday. Happy Friday to you, okay? Happy Friday. By the time y'all see this, it will probably be Sunday. But I hope y'all have an amazing Friday. And I pray that you have an amazing week, okay? But I got a video coming out. I want to do, like, I want to do a mukbang, but, like, answer questions about fitness and my journey. So, I'm going to do it with me, but it's going to be, like, healthy food. So, if I do it, I'll probably record it on sunday or monday and um i'll probably be eating like a salad or something when i when we do it so look like she ain't trying to do it with me because i just asked and she didn't say nothing okay. i want to answer questions from my peoples about the weight journey show them like my goals like my goal people i just think that's a cute idea like show them different people who's who inspire me their youtube oh channels God. You okay? I don't have many people that inspire me. You don't have people who inspire you? Who Nobody inspires you? I said I don't have that many people. I mean, I'm not going to put that many, but I do have some. Who inspires you, babe? All right, well, I don't have time for that. So, why she act like she don't, she ain't inspired, but I know she is, so I don't know why she's saying that. I'm not inspired. I don't want to share that. With your beautiful people. Why you can't share with the beautiful people who inspires you? Stop. Y'all hear that? Salam. All that. Salam. Energy. Salam. Act like you got some sense. That's <sighs> not, take that gum out your mouth. Gum is my new thing. <laughs> gum is my new thing. It helps me every time I like think about food. I put a piece of gum in my mouth, and it helps. Like I have not been like having cravings for anything. Water, gum, water, gum. Bye, y'all. All right, guys. So, this is my lunch. This is my second meal of the day. You guys saw my breakfast. I'm not doing what I eat in a day, so I don't know why, but <laughs> I should be. But I just made this smoothie, and it has in it brain energy, strawberries, grapes, and blueberries. Um, What is that stuff called? Kale. One splint. One stevia. And I think that's, oh, and some flexi. That's it. That's, this is my lunch. And it's pretty late. Like, it's going to be 4 o'clock, probably in the next 40 minutes. And I have to cook dinner. I will start. No, it's, it's almost 2. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what time it is. Oh, it's 3.30. So, I need my chicken to be in the oven. Salam is supposed to go get me some barbecue sauce because, for some reason, I don't have no energy today. Look what I'm on my dresser. I might look at this today. Check out some stuff. But let me show you my bedroom, child, because it is it's a hot mess. So I'm hanging up these clothes. I have to finish hanging up these and I have some laundry down here. But I've already washed um two loads of clothes. It was the probably the last time y'all saw it. It's a bit dirty. I put this caddy in here. My shoes, my clothes are just they're hanging up, but they're there's some of them are long. I got some backpacks and of course that shelf in that corner. It has been ignored. It has been ignored, but I'm getting it together today. Um it's crazy that I'm trying my best. I just don't have any energy. I guess I already told you all why I don't have any energy. But I'm about to turn my air conditioner on. 
because I'm hot and finish hanging up these clothes, sorting out these clothes and get in my room a little bit better. Maybe I'll finish the rest tomorrow, but for right now, I just want to get this stuff done and I'm tired and I have to cook. So I'm thawing out my chicken. Oh no. I'm running water, y'all. Oh, I turned the water off. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to thaw my chicken. Um, house is okay. Everything is pretty decent in here. But, yeah, I can't stand for my cabinet space to be crowded. So, like, I have... I'm about to wash this out. I just made my smoothie. But my chicken is in there, so I just got to wait for a second. And then to wash these two. These two are dirty. My blender is done. But, like, you see how, like, I have all of this stuff. Like, I'm not going to be able to put any Christmas decorations out. Plus, I want to buy something to put the fruit and things in that um because I'm, I'm tired of stuff being on my microwave i don't like that but i don't really even have the space to get that thing because it's kind of tall you know the thing that people have it's kind of like a what the tear tray looks like but it's for like your onions and stuff so i might have to put it on this side these are clean they need to go under the cabinet um i don't know y'all i'm just running out of space I guess we've just outgrown this place. And I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. <laughs> um, so hopefully, um, possibly, you know, be looking to move here from here in the next year or so. Because I know I don't talk about it much, but y'all, my neighbors, <sighs> I have been working really, really hard to stay positive about neighbors. Because, you know, that last time with the other neighbor that used to live here drove me nuts. I didn't feel like, you know, maybe I, you know, I just didn't want to, like, have that again. But it's not like them, but it's just as bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just very loud every day, all the time. Stomps, jumps, running, and yelling. And it's just like, okay. I I don't tell y'all about it because I don't feel like y'all come on here to hear me complain because I complain so much. So I'm like, let me just be quiet about it. Um, I don't dislike my neighbors. I think you know, we, you know, we speak. There is, you know, it's, we have a pleasant relationship. But how do you tell people? Like, every day that you guys are loud, when you guys stomp, run, and yell. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you... To me, it will cause... What I'm learning, it will cause confusion. It will cause people to not like each other. It'll cause tension. It'll cause people to just... So, it's just like... If you tell the people to tell them, they're going to get mad. If you tell them... You know, it's just... It's no win here. So... I just grin and bear, and I'm sometimes I'm just like, Lord, you know, please, you know, one night, y'all, I promise you, one night, I know the parents probably were gone because the kids were just like running and yelling in their games, and it just was like, it was it was a Saturday night, it was from like ten to like one a.m. and by the grace of God, my mother was in my room, so she didn't hear it. So I just heard it, and Salam wasn't home, and Ethan probably had his game on, so he probably he didn't hear it either. I'm grateful that they didn't hear it. I'd rather me be going nuts than my family, so I'm grateful that you know they weren't disturbed by it. But oh my goodness, it was atrocious. But we are just gonna start getting things together and believe in God for um, moving. I really used to really love being here, like. Like I said, my first two people that lived above me, it was absolutely no problem. This place was so peaceful, you know, and I know things are going to happen. Some days are going to be loud. Like even with my first neighbor, sometimes they were hammering things. Sometimes their kids are play and they'll jump down. But but the last two and well, the last one plus this one, it's every day. Like every day I'm going to hear y'all get ready for work. Like every day I'm going to hear you yelling, fussing, and y'all getting ready for work. And then boom, 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 down the steps and slamming stuff. And, like, it sounds like somebody is caving through. Like, I'm going to hear that every morning um, at, like, 
5 30 6 o'clock in the morning i gotta get up with you i have to get up with you every morning okay i i normally do that then sometimes it starts back they're gone but then whoever's up there it starts back about maybe 10 i don't know if somebody's working out up there and then most nights it's not that bad unless it's like a friday or saturday so it's just i'm i want a townhouse that's what I'm probably going to try to do. Um, not right at the moment, but maybe like in the next year. Because I signed my lease into October. So, baby, we got one year. One year to endure. <laughs> and to just, you know, by the grace of God, start looking and moving and thinking about some stuff. So, that's what we got going on. So, y'all pray with me. And pray that I have all my ducks in a row and lined up properly. And that's what I'm working on and believe in God for. And that I can get to where I need to be and where I would like to be. And I would love to do like a, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about like changing up some things this um, January for my channel. I'm loving a lot of the new girls that I watch. Um, it's really, really nice. Oh, and they have a dog too. And, you know, it, it's it, these people just living their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think they realize what is going on down here for me. You know what I'm saying? I do not think that they're maliciously trying to be loud and ridiculous. I do not think that. Um, and I'm starting to think maybe my other neighbor wasn't either. I literally felt like she was, but maybe she isn't either. Maybe they don't realize what they sound like, you know? So... We're just going to handle it, okay, the best way we can. And I am about to finish drinking. This video is going to be long, and it's me doing a bunch of talking. So hopefully you guys watch it. I've been noticing some of my videos like that. Y'all do not be watching. Y'all didn't even watch, like, the homecoming video like that. Like, the homecoming video to me was, like, so good. Like, half the people watched it. And I do not understand, like... What do you guys want from me? Is it you? Is it me? Is it YouTube not pushing it? Like, what is the deal? It's like every time my RPM goes higher, my views go lower. It's like, it's like we're going to give you a little bit and then take this away. Like, sometimes I'm just like, why do I even bother? Bye, y'all. <laughs> These candles, I'm not really smelling them today. Fresh linen used to smell really, really good. Or fresh cotton linen. From Dollar General, used to smell pretty good. And this lemon verbena, I'm not smelling it at all, you guys. Not at all. But this is what the house is looking like. You know, it's it's okay. It could be better. What is this? Oh, <laughs> never mind. But, um, yeah, we got this chicken. Uh, I took this chicken out, like... I took this chicken out probably about 9.30. So it should be thawed out, but it's not. Pray my daughter hurry up and go to the store so I can eat before 6. What y'all think? Put in a comment if you think so I'm going to go to the store on time for me to eat. Gum has been really helping me not want to cheat. This is really good today. If you want to not crave sugar then you have to really stop eating it like like you have to like really use like the natural sugars like in your fruit and then you'll be happy with how it tastes but y'all i've been talking enough i gotta get this room together it will be four o'clock soon and hopefully by that time i'm cooking and putting that chicken in the oven and making some vegetables so i will talk about y'all later all right y'all so it's kind of dark in here try to get this light from outside but i just made um eight chicken wings in the air fryer and I made the rest in the oven so the first batch smells good Ethan probably eat all these I probably have one I literally want one right now but I'm gonna wait and I'm only reason why I'm leaving it open because I can't stand for a crispy chicken when you start closing it so fast it gets like it sweats and if it's gonna be crispy you like it you know to cool like this or either wrap it in um paper towels but we'll be all right so the other one is in there and i'm just drinking my water on time today so so happy that i'm doing that y'all i try to get in 100 ounces every day a lot of the times i come short i do like 65 ounces but i really try to do 100 
but I'm already, this is almost 50 complete and it's only 440 and normally I'm starting over with 50 at about nine o'clock and I can't stand that because like who wants to start drinking water, 50 ounces of, of water at nine o'clock at night because you'll be in the bathroom all the time. So I'm going to um, drink the rest of this real quick and then fill that bottle of water up and by like 530 when it's time for me to eat. I'll start my other 50 ounces with my dinner, so I'll probably get about 25 ounces done with my meal. Then I'll just have 25 ounces left before 6 o'clock, and that is going to be a blessing because <sighs> I started drinking earlier. Drinking water is so good for you. I pretty much drink nothing but water, y'all, unless I'm drinking one of my smoothies, which has water in it, <laughs> fruit and veggies. But I feel absolutely amazing physically. You know, like physically, I feel good. I got something for the first time today, y'all. Oh my goodness, it was so hard. I couldn't do more than two minutes. I'm gonna try to do it every day and see if I can go a little bit longer. Y'all, I was done in like 20 seconds. I saw this girl doing this machine the other day and I said, let me try it, it looks like the electrical. No, baby, this is like you climbing a mountain. Two minutes is all I could do. And I had to sit down. Since I've been working out, I've had to sit down. This thing right here. This thing right here, y'all. This thing right here. Two minutes is all I could do. And that was in praying, believing God. Two minutes. I did it for two minutes. The next time I do it. I don't know. I want to take three, but we're going to get five minutes out of it soon. And we're going to work our way to 20. Girl, it's got, it's got my legs hurting right now so bad. So it is really building what I'm, what I'm trying to build. So I will be doing it. Man, I'm tired. So this is what I'm looking like today, y'all. I'm so tired, y'all. That would really work. That kicked my butt. But today is a full body workout. Today's full body. I'm going to do everything. Arms, upper and lower. I've been doing cardio. And I'm going to finish my cardio after I do this. I think I'm going to do the upper first to get it over with. But I'll talk back with y'all later. That's what I lifted today. On both sides. Of my legs. 45. 35. Y'all, I was grunting and growling and doing absolute most, so I decided to silence it because y'all know I've upped my weight. So, just decided to talk over it, but I hope y'all are enjoying the video so far. So, y'all, this is my breakfast. Before I worked out, y'all saw I had the um, shake, well, the protein shake, basically. And I don't know if y'all saw that because I don't even know if I showed y'all. It wasn't good today. I put too many strawberries in it. But, um... I don't like, um, I don't want to eat processed food anymore. At least I'm trying not to, which will be like all the things that I really like, like sausage and bacon. So I just gave me some with chicken wings and some scrambled eggs. Hello, beautiful people. It is Sunday morning and we're on our way to church. Me and Pretty, say hey, Pretty. Hello, beautiful people. All right, y'all. So we are about to go to church and... Um, after church, we got to go to my aunt's house real quick. And then we got to go to David's Bride. Because I don't know if I share with you guys, but I'm in a wedding. Okay? I'm in a wedding. My sister Kim, I think I told y'all a long time ago. Because, I mean, I've known about this wedding since last March. So, I think I told y'all. And I'm going to also do a video. I, I'll, that'll be in my next video. My, my chit-chat in my car, probably eating a salad or something video. And I'm going to show y'all and tell y'all my story about all these weddings that I'm in. Anyways, we're going to Davis Bridal and looking for bridesmaids dresses. So, I will get back with y'all after church. Um, we are late today, but we're still headed there, okay? So, <laughs> we just couldn't get up early enough today for some reason. Um, it just won't, it won't that morning, but we're going to make it anyway. Y'all, look at my little bear earrings. I think these little bear earrings are so cute. I think I had them on the last time I got dressed. Y'all know what I'm noticing? 
I do not like when I was younger I used to put makeup on like every day I don't put makeup on like I used to I did have some on today but like on just a regular I'll be putting makeup on not just to go to stores I don't but I'll be back I came to my aunt's house at my mama after church y'all and my cousin he still be farming my family always did a lot of farming and it's just so beautiful to come and see like your family visit your family the older older family members and you know ma'am I'm, I'm about to I'm, I'm just starting to show them let me show y'all my mom is saying show y'all the beautiful flowers she has some beautiful flowers out here I'm gonna show y'all y'all look at her beautiful flowers my aunt Jackie my uncle Johnny's wife so she um, my grandma's brother's sister-in-law and her brother's beautiful flowers I'm gonna show y'all some on this side but they we about to leave mama we can't hold on jack up but this is all their land so beautiful and look at this side this part I just I told her I said it's so pretty out here I mean they just got look flowers right here I don't know where your phone is mother and I told my Uncle Johnny, I said it reminds me of my um, grandma stuff. So pretty. Like this, oh my goodness, I think it's so beautiful. Look at these flowers. They built them a room, like a little den out there. Isn't it just so beautiful? It's so peaceful. I just would love to sit out here and study, listen to my Bible. Oh, can y'all see it? It's just so pretty. My Uncle Johnny is 82, and I know my Aunt Jackie is in her 70s. She's not, she's a little older than my mom, but I just love it. And it's her birthday today, and we're supposed to come here for the birthday party, but we have to go to David's Bridal for my sister, um, you know, try, trying to find bridesmaid dresses. So... I wanted to, uh, and my cousin Tony, he lived on the landfill too. Bye, cousin. <laughs> so, I am out here. They got trucks. They got everything. They got everything. <laughs> but, um, I don't want to show y'all where I was. But it's so pretty. So beautiful. Alright, you guys. So, we are done with church. Church has been over for a while, actually. And I have a slight headache. Y'all know every month I get a headache. Okay? And it is annoying. But I just came back to say hey to y'all real quick. And then took my little skirt off and put on some like black little pants. And I guess I'll show y'all. And some Converse's. So this is what I have on right now. Can y'all see my Converse's? And I'm about to go to David's Bridal. Y'all have seen this little like, I don't know what you call these. But I love them. And I want like a thousand more. Because I just, I don't know, I love them. But this is what I'm wearing right now. Y'all want to see the waist, honey? This waist. This waist is snatched. You hear me? Look at my waist today. Can y'all see? And I'm a little bloated. And my waist is like, whew, that thing is going in. So the legs is plumping up. Waist going in. Stomach going in. I'm feeling good, but we are about to go in a little bit to David's Bridal, and maybe I'll show y'all once we get in there, but church is really, really good. He was preaching, um, we got there late, you know, I wrote pretty grandma, so that's it on that. Um, he was already preaching when we got to church, we didn't hear no, no worship music, we heard nothing but, we didn't hear nothing but the word, but we gonna be grateful for the word, okay? Um, when we got there, he was talking about pretty much how women um, get violated and get mistreated and how it's nothing new. It was happening in the Bible and he was referencing, I know you guys have all heard it, but he was just saying how he never really heard anybody saying anything against it in the Bible when Lot pretty much offered his daughters when the men in the town came to his house for the two men that God sent, which I always figured were angels from um, who God sent. And they probably were extremely handsome. Because I always think that angels are probably handsome. But, um, so when the men were, you know, trying to 
are the men, um, he offered his daughters. And, you know, it, that was always was terrible to me. I always never quite understood it. And he was basically saying that that was not God's will. So stop saying something is God's will because it's in the Bible. Because there are things that happen in the Bible that God was against that people that he loved did. It was a good sermon. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I was in Bible study a little while ago. And I don't, don't, I don't know if it was my friend Sean or someone somebody said they got issues with lot because of that and i always thought that part was very strange but like he said it, it never was questioned nobody ever mentioned it and he's like really the first pastor that i heard talk about it in that way minus all the ladies when we having like bible study or something like that so um i i like the fact that he put it out there you know that that's not okay you know for women and i don't even know you know sometimes we are I don't know, y'all. I can't say why people do what they do when they do wrong or when they make a mistake because I've made several mistakes trying to do right, serve God, and then making a mistake at the same time. You know, we we, we jacked up, y'all. We some fickle people. That's that's the only thing I can think of. None of us are perfect. <laughs> but um, it was a really, really good sermon. And um, what I heard, I enjoyed it. But um, maybe I'll show y'all some of the dresses when we get to Barnes & Noble. I mean... Lord have mercy. When we get to David's bridal, um, but I have an idea. I have an idea of some dresses myself, but I will talk about y'all later. Peace.